Hi, Magdalene Adenike here, Chief Executive of Music Relief Foundation, a youth organization working with young people 11 to 19 years old, using music as a vehicle to develop confidence, to help them to know who they are, to raise aspirations, because the young people are leaders, not only leaders of tomorrow, but leaders of today. So we enable them, we help them through our various workshops to understand who they are, unleash their potential, unleash their talent in order for them to walk in accordance. I want to quickly talk to us today about understanding season. Season is a phase. They go through. We go through phases in life. There is a time when a woman is pregnant, and then at the end of it, she gives birth. She does. She's not pregnant forever. She's meant to be pregnant for a certain time, and then she gives birth. Understanding those seasons. There is a time that you need to build. There is a time that you need to dig deep. There is a time that you need to ensure that your foundation is solid. And at that time, it's hard. At that time, nobody knows your name. At that time, you are not celebrated. At that time, it seems like as if you don't even exist. And you look around you and it seems like everyone else is being celebrated but you. And you're wondering, what about me? I've got all these wonderful skill sets, but nobody knows about me. That is the time to build. That is the time to develop. That is the time to, to fine tune those skills that you have. Because when you get to the next season when you've gone through all that phase and it's time for celebration the world will be looking and we're wondering where did this person come from what's this overnight success but there's nothing like overnight overnight success because you go through years building developing fine-tuning those those skill sets that you have in order for you to become that person that you are today and if you're thinking about you know what I'm not just here for five minutes I'm here for the long term you start thinking about legacy what will my legacy be when Nelson Mandela died, the one thing that struck me, what people were saying about him is about forgiveness. After spending 40 years in prison, people were expecting him to come out and say, you know what, we're going to retaliate. But he came out with that, that spirit of forgiveness. And when he died, that forgiveness was his legacy. What is your legacy? So as parents, as carers, as guardians, as teachers, as youth workers, as mentors, as anybody in charge of a young person, what legacy? are you working on that will impact the young people around you positively? What is your legacy? So in the season of life that you're having to build and develop and fine tune those skills, how are you incorporating your young people, your children, your, your students, your mentees, whomever that may be around you that is a young person, how are you incorporating them within that process of time? Because they need to understand. We switch on the news, we read the newspaper, we hear things about the deaths of so many young people. Those were our future leaders, our future prime ministers, presidents, and so on and so forth. But they will no longer have that opportunity. Why? Because they are now six foot under. How many times are we incorporating our young people in the process of building so that they themselves understand that you know what life is in season when you try to get things quickly what happens is that everything you try to build quickly it doesn't stand when you when you go through the process and dig those foundations and you know what you say you know it's hard it's difficult but I'm ready to go the long haul once they understand that once they're able to incorporate that it becomes part and parcel of them so no one is looking for that quick box everybody's looking to say you know what I need to strive I need to develop I need to fine tune my my skills in order for me to become the person that I am supposed to be and that way it passes on to the next generation and the next generation and the next generation until next time understand the seasons understand your season and let your young people let your children let your mentees let your student also know that and understand it is you know what it's not difficult in hard work there is a gain in hard work when you're putting in the work and you're able to look back at it, you know, I remember those times. That is where the laughter comes. That is where the smile comes. Until next time, you have a great day. This is Magdalene Adenike, the Chief Executive of Music Relief Foundation, a youth organization working with young people 11 to 19 years old. Bye for now.